Hello everyone and welcome back to Bird Nerd. Today we're going to be talking about how brown-headed cowbirds learn to be a brown-headed cowbird. If you don't know, brown-headed cowbirds are brood parasites, which means that they will lay their eggs in other bird species' nests and let them raise their young. I made a separate video on the cowbirds that I would recommend watching before this video, if you have not already seen it. Most young birds are raised by their biological parents, which means they learn things like their vocalizations and how to find food or a mate from one of their own species. This is different for brown-headed cowbirds because they are not raised by their biological parents, let alone one of their own species. So how do they learn to be a cowbird? Well, here are a few things that help to explain how the cowbird learns its identity. A study showing that brown-headed cowbird mothers will not completely abandon their young, but will actually monitor the nest spurred researchers to test and see if these mothers are keeping the cowbird young from getting attached to the host parents and learning to be whatever that species is. By attaching radio transmitters to both the adult cowbird and their young, the researchers found that their idea was wrong. Cowbird chicks never follow their mothers away and rarely ever visit their mother's home, so they couldn't be learning how to be a cowbird from her. Instead, the chicks sneak out of the nest at night, often when they are about 20 to 25 days old. These chicks leave right after the sun sets and head to fields where other brown-headed cowbirds usually live. The chicks roost there overnight before returning to the host nest in the morning. This gives them independence from the species that is raising them, making sure that they don't become something they aren't. How do these chicks understand that brown-headed cowbirds are their species? Could it be something like a password that only brown-headed cowbirds can make and understand? Well, a psychologist who specializes in how birds recognize themselves and others proposed that cowbirds use some sort of password to unlock their identity and ability to learn who they are. Searching for any kind of cue, the researcher realized that cowbird babies as young as five days responded to a vocalization called a chatter. The females make this sound as a territorial display and in response to a male display if they are impressed. This chatter is a main indicator of where brown-headed cowbird flocks will be. Another study by the same researcher as well as an avian neuroscientist concluded that the auditory system in a cowbird's brain was divided into two parts one to recognize other cowbirds using the chatter, and the other to learn songs from their own species once they join a flock. The chatter password may attract the cowbird young to flocks of their own species as well as allowing them to learn how to be a cowbird. This discovery lines up with the chicks sneaking out at night and heading to the preferred cowbird habitats, since they would be close enough to their species to hear the chatter, attracting them to the flock. Other research also shows that lengthened exposure to a host species song causes a response in the cowbird's brain, making them want to get out of the nest quickly. While this is a great start on understanding how brown-headed cowbirds learn their identity, there is probably still more we don't know since their recognition is likely deeper than the chatter. These studies just show how amazing brown-headed cowbirds are. So many people think brood parasitism is the easy way out, but it's actually surprisingly difficult. Well, that is all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about how these intriguing birds discovered their identity. If you liked, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. As always, all the studies and resources that I mentioned or used to research are down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.